so far. These balls are living up to the hype. All right, we're out here on a beautiful morning. It's uh, chilly, it's about 36 degrees, and today's video is going to be a review Golf ball. I'm going to do a golf ball review. This is the Max Fly Straight Fly Golf Ball. Dick Sporting Goods bought Max Fly a while back, and they have basically um, two of their lower tier balls the Straight Fly and the Soft Fly. And then they've got the Tour CG and the Tour CGX. These are the lower end Straight Fly. They've got a unique dimple pattern that is supposed to cause these to travel 25% straighter. We're going to find out today. Just contact I've ever had, but it was pretty straight. It's down the middle, hit the fairway. Hmm. Not a bad start. All right, so second shot had a six iron out of the middle of the fairway. My tee shot was a little shorter than usual, but that might not be the ball. It might just be the fact that I didn't catch all of it. It wasn't flushed. Uh, second shot was very straight uh, with the six iron out of the fairway. Should be up here, kind of near the right side of this fairway all right here we go gotta hit a green hit the green went through Okay, so that was a straight shot out of the fairway, and I hit the green uh, from about 170 out, hit a six iron, and I'm on the green. This ball is doing exactly what it says it's supposed to do. Fly straight, straight fly. So, so far, it's a little weird. Not working out like I thought. Anyway, we got a long birdie putt. All right, short par four. It's a little over 300 yards. I think it's 319. Um, normally, on such a short par four, I'm not really pulling driver because I'm not I'm not going to be able to drive the ball near 300 yards and get it close to the green, and I'm going to leave myself a partial wedge in. But today, testing out this ball, I want to see if I can keep it in this fairway with a driver. Now, I want to say this straight doesn't necessarily mean it won't go right and it won't go left. It just means that it could go straight right or straight left. So if it's trying to reduce that big slice or that big hook, that doesn't mean that it's gonna find the fairway 25% more of the time. It just means you could block it straight right or block or pull it straight left. That's all. So it's not a, it's not a, a fix, but so far, these shots that I've hit out of the fairway with irons with bloods have not curved very much. Let's see what happens here. That was hammered. Straight as an arrow. No, no curve to the left, no curve to the right. Stayed straight down the right side the whole time. I'm playing nine holes today. Um, the back nine out here at a course that I play uh, that's about 25 minutes from the house. And uh, so far through these three holes, I am even par. Par five, par four, par four. As it stands right now, three out of three fairways and one out of three greens. But there's kind of an asterisk because the other two greens that I, I the two greens that I missed on this side so far, they hit the green and kind of came off. So I was close. All right, so now I'm here at the par three. It's kind of a long par three. It's guarded by a bunker front left. 
uh, we'll shoot it and set up for the action. See if I can hit this green. Shot it with the laser, I'm at 178. Uh, it looks like it's a fairly generous green, which for out here, that's kind of a gift. Uh, the Max Fly golf balls, again, let's see how straight this flies. It sure would be nice to get a bonus and hit this green. All right, so there is our first, um, our first blemish for the Max Fly straight fly golf ball. That's well struck. That is a well struck shot. Okay, it was pretty flush. Uh, I had 178 to the flag. I was trying to fly it about 175 to the middle of the green, um, and I flushed that one. But it had a pretty strong draw. I mean, it was borderline hook. It may even be what you would call a hook. Uh, I kind of started at the pin and it worked off of it. I was aiming straight. You know, the golf ball says you can you can aim straight at it. You know, that's kind of their thing. So it did it definitely did not stay straight that time. It definitely curved. So here it is, you can see it. I'm probably well if you're looking at the center of the green, kind of what I wanted where I wanted to end up. Probably a good 25 yards offline to the left. So now I'm stuck trying to chip over this creek. I'm short sided. I have no green to work with on this side. So that's about as good as I could hope for there. That's as good as I could hope for. That's a great shot for me. Here, hold that for me, will you? there and I just hit it too strong that's a bogey so did max fly straight fly just cost me a stroke there because it lied to me um <laughs> I don't know the claim that they make is is that it flies 25 percent straighter than their other golf balls well first you have to consider are there other golf balls that straight or they flying pretty damn crooked. The other thing you have to consider is, does that mean that the that each shot is going to be 25% straighter? Or does that mean that 25% of your shots will be straighter? Or that 25% of your shots will be straighter? I don't know, that claim is a little confusing. If I had to take a guess as to what they mean by 25% straighter, I would take that to mean that each shot is going to have 25% less curve to it each time. Okay, here's a hole where Max Fly Straight Fly actually could cost me a stroke. I'll explain. All right, this is a fairly average par four length. It's 397 yards, which is average to, I don't know, slightly long for amateurs. However, this is a tight driving shoot of a hole, and it takes a hard dog leg to the left. So you got to go out about 225 and then come back to the left into the green, leaving you a pretty long shot coming into the green, especially for most amateurs. It's going to be a long iron or even a hybrid for some people. I'm taking a little extra club here. I'm hitting my three hybrid instead of my normal five iron because I feel like, okay, if this is going to fly 25% straighter, I can get more distance out of this and maybe get myself just a little bit of a shorter second shot coming in. So if I end up in the trees, which I normally don't with my five iron, but if I end up in the trees on this one, because Max Fly didn't come through, <laughs> then it's cost me a stroke, maybe more. <laughs> It is not my purest strike of the day, but that stays really straight. Uh, I might have had a tiny little bit of draw on it, but I, I'm thinking that that's because it kind of hit the ground and took a little bit of a bounce to the left. But 
That's a pretty damn straight golf ball. I might be in a really good spot up here. Oh my goodness. I gotta cross the path. So, for the distance on the max fly, it's actually saved me about two or three clubs. The tiniest baby draw, which is my normal ball flight, uh, just left it out to the right. Again, Max Fly can't have you hit it in the right direction. <laughs> Got two dozen for $15 a dozen, so 30 bucks. That is really hard to beat. And I know what you guys are going to ask. You're going to be like, well, how does it feel? You know, is it a hard golf ball? Is it a soft golf ball? I haven't had any issues with feel out of it yet. Um, but a uh, really good price point. They do seem to be flying pretty straight. Um, I like the feel of them. The distance uh, is probably, well, let's see. I mean, we're going to end up, yeah, the distance is pretty much right where it's supposed to be. So Rick Shields and Rob McGar and maybe some other people, they did a review of a golf ball called the Polara, I believe is the name of it. And it's supposed to be a straight ball. And they really had a hard time making that ball curve. So it definitely performed. It definitely did what it was supposed to do. However, that is an illegal golf ball. The Max Fly, straight fly, is completely legal. You can use it in tournament play. It's a great price point. Does it fly as straight as the Polara? Probably not. The dimple pattern is not nearly as aggressive as on the Polara. Um, however, the fact that this one's legal and it flies straighter and it's cheap and it feels pretty good and it performs and it spins, man, that's hard to beat. I might have found a new golf ball. Left this chip short, now I got this long putt. Again, Maxfly can't do everything for you. I wonder if this will make the putt roll 25% straighter. You saw that right? You saw that right? It went in the hole from like 28 feet. Did Maxfly just make a golf ball that rolls the putt straighter? Now nah, that's just crazy, right? Right? Well, it seems that I just made a, a par when I probably shouldn't have. I'm supremely happy with that par. That's like a birdie. Now, uh, thin and uh, the swing was just kind of out of sequence. But maybe that's a good test, you know. I mean, how often when you come out to the golf course and you step up to hit your golf ball, I mean... How often are you pulling out a great swing? Most of us, none of the time. Really, that's the test of this golf ball is how much can it help you to minimize negative consequences from poor strikes or less than ideal strikes. Seeing as how that's the way we play golf. Short sided again, pin in the front. a half a yard from being good. Ah, bogey. I gotta say though, most of us as amateurs, 186 to 190 yard par three. Bunker on the left, bunker on the right. Bottlenecked entry into the green. Most of us would be thrilled with a bogey on that hole. You know, I mean, that is a very tough par. That's a tough par for anybody. So, a bogey on that hole, I'm really not that disappointed. I did short, my, short side myself and that chip was left a yard short. I should have just thought about, hey, just get it on the green. Don't worry about trying to stick it close, but I got cute. So, you know, again, though, bogey, not bad on that. I'll take it. This one did go straight, but it went straight right. Uh, I'm behind the other green and the other fairway here. I've got probably 220 yards left in this green. I'm just kind of hitting something up over these trees. Struck well, a little right to left curve, and uh, I pulled it a hair, but strong ball flight. Not a good tee shot at all. Uh, low, weak, and it had some, uh, some hook to it. How's the max fly straight fly off of the putter? Let's see. I 
must say, I like how it comes off of the putter. I like the feel of it. Some of you may not. Oh, I can't feel like a Pro V1 or a Callaway Problem Soft. You really want to keep paying $50 for a dozen golf balls you're going to send right out there into those trees within five minutes of being on the course? I don't see the logic behind that. Pretty good. And straight. Blocked it out to the right a little bit and uh, probably in that green side bunker. Oh, that's the end of that day. Shoes doing great. These Thestron shoes are still holding up terrific. Totally waterproof. No signs of wear and tear. All good. Five rounds in.